what is a vlog by me if we don't have a coffee making montage hello good morning welcome back to another vlog today we are gonna just do a day in the life which i am excited about because i haven't done one of these in a while normally my vlogs consist of like a compilation of a few different days so you really only are seeing like a few minutes here and there of each day but today i'm gonna really take you along for a full day so right now i am frantically getting ready because even though i've been up for hours now and i had plenty of time but in true sam fashion i just waited till the last minute and then was like oh crap i need to leave in like 10 minutes <laughs> so i have a nail appointment in a few minutes so we're gonna go get these nails freshened up and then i'm gonna go straight to the gym after that and then we'll chat when i get back home and i will fill you in on the plans for the rest of the day because i don't have time to talk right now gotta go to the nail salon showered now let's get caught up by the way here's my nails so cute the color it was a dnd color and it was called island punch i believe a really pretty like neon coral orangey kind of color now i am getting ready to go to the salon but I'm not working. I am getting a keratin treatment. I say that as if you can't see from the title and the thumbnail. <laughs> but yeah, I've gotten a few keratin treatments in the past and they were different ones each time and like different brands. And I really liked them a lot. They made my hair way more manageable. And at the time when I got them done in the past, my hair was pretty damaged too. So it really helped to seal the cuticle down and just allow my hair to like look smoother and grow out. And I didn't have to apply as much heat to it. I've only ever had positive experiences with them, but it's been several years since I've had one done and i have been really embracing my natural curls a lot in the last like year or two but it gets really really frizzy and especially down here in the south i live in southern north carolina and in the summer which right now it's the end of july it gets super humid and my hair gets crazy frizzy and i don't really mind it so much if i'm wearing my hair natural but if i do want to blow it out and wear it smooth a it takes me forever to blow dry it especially because my hair is so long now and b it's like impossible for me to get it like perfectly smooth without having to apply a crap ton of heat to it and then once i go out in the humidity it's just kind of all for nothing anyway so yeah i want to get a keratin treatment i'm thinking not all over mostly just the hair around my face and the top portion i do have one row of sew-in extensions and the extensions are naturally curly and they match my natural hair texture so i don't want to put the keratin on the extensions obviously because that can also ruin them potentially so we're just going to do it on my natural hair work around the extensions and probably just do it in the front up top but i told her that i still want my hair to get curly like i don't want my hair to be super straight i just want it smooth and less frizzy and i want it to be easier and faster to blow dry it when i do want to wear it straight they do these keratin treatments pretty regularly on clients there like it's a pretty popular service and everyone's hair always looks great so i know she knows what she's doing i trust her the only thing that's gonna suck is i am not allowed to get it wet for like two to three days that's why I was like, let me go work out before the appointment so I can get that out of the way because I'm not going to be able 
to get super sweaty for the next like two or three days and I can't like tie it back in tight ponytails or anything like that and then after my hair appointment I have to stop at Target because I have a Target pickup I ordered some clothes the other night because they were having a sale so I'm very excited we'll do a try on haul when I get back and then I want to stop at Trader Joe's and pick up some groceries so we'll also do a grocery haul but before I head out I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video dossier you guys know if you've been watching me for a while I am a huge dossier stan. I talk about them all the time. I literally wear their perfumes on a daily basis. This is the only perfume that I wear. And the Amory Saffron scent in particular has been my go-to signature scent for two years now. And I am not exaggerating when I tell you I get complimented on how I smell all the time and my friends always they're like yeah sam just always smells so good and i've turned all my co-workers on to dossier in fact two of them just in the last couple of days were verifying with me which scent i wear because they're going to order the same one dossier makes replicas of well-known designer brand name fragrances for a fraction of the cost they just put their perfume in simpler packaging and without the celebrity marketing and retail markups and all of that extra stuff that's so unnecessary, they are able to offer the exact same scent, same high quality for 70 to 90% less in some cases. So for example, this one, Ambry Saffron, love it. This is a dupe for the Baccarat Rouge 540 perfume, which is super popular, but super expensive i think the full price for that one is like around 300 plus dollars this one from dossier is 49 dollars, and this is the most expensive one that they have on their website everything else is under that their perfume start at 29 dollars, and they have brands on there like tom ford joe malone ysl they also are now available at walmart so you can actually shop dossier from walmart's website or in the walmart store in person so i will have a link down below as well as a discount code that will get you five percent off also if you order directly from the dossier website they do have a reward system now so make sure you select catch at the last step of checkout and then you can start racking up points which you can use as store credit on future purchases thank you so much dossier for continuing to work with me and support my channel but i'm gonna go grab my bag and my shoes and we are gonna head out I'm so excited. I will see you at the salon. Hello. Hi. Oh, so good. Do you still have your extensions in? Yeah, I have one row. What kind? Like, what are they? The sew-in? Yeah, like the beaded sew-in ones. This is always like the worst angle possible. <laughs> um, okay, let's share the process. So first, you're clarifying. Yes, I'm gonna go in and clarify you three times. It's gonna be extra squeaky. And then, after that, we will towel dry and go back to the chair. And then I will apply the um, keratin all throughout your roots to ends and then we will blow dry it all in and then go in and flat iron it with like really thin like credit card size sections okay all throughout your whole head well we're only doing the top part yeah. but yeah oh, I'm so excited <laughs> It's the best. The, the worst part is the two-day wait period where you can't do anything with it. Mm-hmm. Just have to leave it pinned straight. Yes. I'm curious to see how it looks. Mm-hmm. Because I haven't had my hair, like, haven't worn my hair like that in forever. I feel like you might actually like, no like, oh, I love it. Maybe I might. We'll see.
It's like so perfectly smooth and straight and shiny. Oh my god, it looks so good. <laughs> oh my god. Wow, thank you. You're so welcome. It looks so good. I wasn't sure how it was gonna look pin straight if I was gonna like it, but I actually love it. <laughs> Who is she? I know. Wow. Amazing. I kind of love the straight hair. I think I need to start doing this more. <laughs> Thank you. You've got to be kidding me. Well, here's the hair. It is absolutely pouring. As she was like flat ironing the last section, I noticed that it was starting to look kind of dark out and I was like, oh God, I hope it doesn't rain. And uh, then right as we finished, I looked out the window and I was like, oh, it is pouring. So she put this lovely processing cap on my hair and <laughs> I threw the robe over my head. I think I have an umbrella. Yes, I do. I have an umbrella in here, thank God. So I changed my Target pickup to a drive-up pickup. So we're gonna go do that because I can't get my hair wet for at least the next 48 hours and I do not want to risk ruining all of her hard work because that took two and a half hours. Oh, and I wanted to go to Trader Joe's. Uh, we'll see. Cause the sky, it's like super cloudy here, but then out in the distance, it actually looks blue. That's the thing about living on the coast by the beach. The weather could be one way in one spot and then down the road, totally different. So I might, go to Trader Joe's if it's not raining over there but if it is I'm just gonna go straight home like I said <laughs> completely different weather down the road and now it's pouring again <laughs> so weird of course when I got to Target it wasn't raining there so I could have just went in and got my stuff I got my pickup and then I thought oh okay well Maybe the whole way home it'll be clear and I can stop at Trader Joe's. Nope, it was completely pouring over there, but right now, anyway, at my apartment, it isn't raining at all. So, you know what? At least, thank God for that. And there wasn't anything grocery-wise that was like crucial that I needed. Like, I still have some stuff here to make dinner tonight, so I will be fine. I can wait till tomorrow. And it's probably for the best that I didn't go inside Target because I probably then would have been tempted to get Starbucks and look around and maybe buy more stuff that I don't really need. And at least it's not raining here, so I didn't get caught in the rain and my hair stayed dry. I don't hate the pin straight hair as much as I thought. I thought it was gonna look like really crazy and just like plastered to my head, but I am kind of liking it. It's very sleek and my hair, seems so long because <laughs> obviously when it's curled or waved you know it like shrinks up a little bit having it pinned straight like this i can really see the full length it's crazy and i do have one row of extensions like i said but that's just to add a little fullness it's really crazy to think my hair used to be so short and so damaged that's what we were talking about while she was doing it how i used to always mess with my hair and go from blonde to silver to black to red back to blonde and i just couldn't leave it alone i was always bleaching it so it was very damaged and i always had to cut it and keep it really short and wear extensions and i could never grow it long and i think this is the longest my hair has ever been in my entire life and it's just crazy especially seeing it like so sleek and shiny right now i'm like i cannot believe this is my real hair that is on patience and leaving your hair alone, not overdoing it with the bleach and color. Let me show you the stuff I got from Target because I'm excited to see it myself and I will do a little try on as well. They 
were having a sale that was going to expire on Saturday. And I was like, damn, it was like 30% off clothes. And I was like, that is such a good deal. So I ordered the stuff online. Um, the first thing is this oversized t-shirt dress. I didn't even realize it was going to be this big. <laughs> this is definitely, I thought it was going to be more of just like an oversized t-shirt, but this is definitely more like a dress, but I'm not mad at that. I think it's super cute. I love the colors. The next thing I got is another graphic tee. I love graphic t-shirts like this especially like big oversized ones because I sleep in them a lot and they're just so comfy and easy to throw on with some bike shorts. This one isn't as long. This is more of just like an oversized t-shirt fit. The next thing I got is just a plain basic tank. Looking at it, I think I might have needed to size up to a large because of my boobs, but I don't know. We'll try it on and we'll see, but little basic crop tops like that you can never have enough of or i can't and then the next thing i got is this dress how cute i love this green color and i just thought the cut of it everything just looked so flattering and it's just such a nice like easy simple dress to throw on in the summer you could dress it up or down oh next i got another one of those cropped tank tops in black i didn't even realize then another cropped tank top this one isn't as cropped but I thought this was so cute I love how vintage looking it is so cute with some denim shorts or some like jogger shorts and then lastly I got this brown dress I hope I end up liking it as much as I liked it on the model hopefully it fits okay but I thought this was super cute and another thing again that you could like dress up or down depending how you style it. And now it's raining here. So I got home at the perfect time. I just avoided the rain. Now that I tried on all that Target stuff, I love everything. I feel like that's so rare, especially when I'm ordering stuff online without seeing it in person first. I was expecting out of all that stuff to at least have like one or two things that I was gonna end up returning, but I love everything and I feel like everything fit pretty well. I'm super, super thirsty though. So I am making some lemon water. That food that I got was so good. I got a chicken kebab platter. So it was like grilled chicken with basmati rice and I got tabbouleh and a chickpea salad on the side. So pretty healthy and it was really delicious very filling which is perfect because it's 4 40 now so i should be good until dinner time i am gonna go get some work done i have a video that i need to edit and submit tonight before i go to bed so i'm gonna go work on that and i will catch up with you a little later i'm just sitting in the dark although i have the brightness turned up on my camera so it doesn't really look that dark to you but it's 819 so the sun is almost completely set and it is going to be pitch black in here in another like 10 minutes or so but i have been sitting on the couch editing for the last three and a half hours finally finished my video so that is exporting now then i need to actually upload it to youtube figure out what the title is going to be fill out the description, find all of the links to everything I need to link in the description, make the thumbnail picture before I can actually post it. And this one also has a sponsor, so I have to submit it to the brand first anyway so that they can approve it before I actually like make it live on my channel. But it's a whole process. <laughs> so, and just for reference, like that was a 31 minute vlog and three and a half hours to edit it's probably going to be at least another hour to like do all the other stuff that i mentioned so like four and a half five hours just to make that one 
half hour video. And I feel like that was a pretty basic, standard, easy to edit video. So that was a quick one. Other ones can take even longer than that. Not saying that to complain and be like, oh my God, it's so hard to do this job. No, this is like a dream job. Trust me, I know that. But um, just sharing like, the reality of like what goes into it. It is a time consuming thing. And some weeks I do have like full days that I can just dedicate to doing that and I can just be like, okay, I'm working from home today. This is a work day. But other weeks I don't and I have to just kind of like fit that in wherever I have extra time between other stuff I have going on and my salon schedule. So it can be a little bit tricky. And obviously there are days like today, I was out doing stuff all day. By the time I got home at five o'clock, I would love for that to just be it for my day and to just like chill and unwind and make dinner, not have to like sit and stare at a computer screen for a few more hours, you know? It just is what it is. But I'm so grateful that I get to do this as part of my job. It is very surreal to me still, even years later. But it finally stopped raining, so that's good. I am going to take Benny out. I don't think I showed him yet in this video. What are you doing? He was just hanging out on the couch with me while I was working. What a cute little boy. But yeah, I'm going to take him out for his last potty break of the day. You got to go potty? Hmm? You got to go potty? Come on, let's go. Let's go potty. Let's go. This laying is terrible. Okay, that's a little bit better. I'm about to make dinner. I really am not super hungry, and I'm also not really in the mood to actually cook. And it's so late now, now it's 8.35. I just want to have like a little something. So I'm just gonna make a salad, and I'm literally just gonna do spring mix, some cucumbers, and I have this really good, dressing from Trader Joe's strawberry basil vinaigrette so good so I'm gonna do that and then I also have some of these Trader Joe Thai vegetable yozas and these are super easy because I can just microwave them so that's what I'm gonna have for my dinner I know super exciting so yeah I'm gonna have that really quick and finally just be done for the day I'm gonna see if there's any new YouTube videos to watch. I also actually, last night I started watching, what is it called? Uh, what is it called? It's an HBO show. Insecure, that's pretty good. I am only on episode two. I need to figure out what I am gonna do as far as washing my face and then sleeping tonight because of the hair, not being able to get it wet or get creases in it. So I'll see you a little later when I'm getting ready for bed. Bone apple teeth. Okay, I am ready to wash my face. I have one of these like spa headbands, the Velcros. You can get them on Amazon. I'll link one in the description. And I'm just gonna pull it right up to my hairline so it doesn't like expose my hair but that way i can still like fully wash my face and then instead of splashing water all over my face to rinse this off because i feel like that could be risky i'm just going to wet a washcloth There we go, face is washed, hair did not get wet, and normally I would sleep with my hair in a low ponytail, and I do have this silk scrunchie, which is like very loose, 
but I am kind of afraid that it might crease, especially when I'm laying on it. So I'm just gonna leave my hair down and I'll try to just like lay it over my pillow. It's crazy though. Look at underneath here. Look at that frizz. And she did such a good job blow drying my hair. Like she got it really, really smooth. She always does. She does such good blowouts. And my hair on the bottom felt just as smooth and straight as the hair on top when she first did it, but it's so humid today. And especially when I just went out to walk Benny, it literally felt like I was walking into a room of just straight steam. It is so wet and damp out there. So underneath here is starting to get frizzy and kind of like curl up at the root, but everything up top is still perfectly smooth and straight and frizz free. And obviously like the keratin treatment is still in my hair right now. So I'm curious to see how it will be after, you know, I wash it out in a couple of days, how it will withstand humid days like today. After 48 hours, I can wash it out and I can do everything normal. I should still have curl to my hair. It's going to be really relaxed at first, but then like as time goes on, as I wash it, I'll start to get the curls back, but I won't have the frizz. And she said that most clients love their hair and think that it's perfect and exactly how they want it after the first few weeks. So I don't know exactly what my hair is gonna look like when it air dries. We will see. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel Stay tuned for my next vlog because I will share the big reveal after I wash it for the first time in that video. But I'm super excited. I'm happy that I did this and I can't wait to see how it looks after I wash it. And like the first time I blow dry it, how much faster and easier that'll be. But I am going to do my skincare and head to bed. That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check the description for my link and discount code to Dossier. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.